Hello, welcome to our February update here at Reesby Estates and on the farm. So February has continued as we've been continuing continuing for nearly the last um, several months since the summer with yet more rain. So 128 millimetres of rain has fallen in February. That is an extremely high amount. Last year we had about 10 millimetres of rain. So yeah, pretty extremes of weather. So fingers crossed uh, the rain soon clears away and these dark skies go and we get some sunshine. What else on the weather? We actually did hit 16.6 degrees, believe it or not, in February on our temperature gauge. And then we had a minus of 1.3. So it really has been a season of extremes. So what's been happening on the farm? Well, first of all, we'd like to meet you, like to introduce you to a new member. So everybody meet Rhubarb. Rhubarb is the latest member of the team here. She'll be accompanying me on a lot of the field walks. Out and about, she's a Cocker Spaniel. She's seen now nearly 14 weeks now, I think. So yeah, look out for Rhubarb on some more of our videos. So work-wise, we have managed to get some work done on the land. We've been putting nitrogen on. So the nitrogen gets the crops growing and the key elements what a crop needs to grow. So Adrian has been out putting some nitrogen on. So let's go and take a look at that in progress. So it is the 28th of February and we are busy out putting nitrogen on. Adrian and Zach have been putting in some good time and we've got all the oilseed rape has actually now had two applications on it. Winter barley's all had its first application. And we are now in this field of wheat, putting on its first application. And we are about a quarter of the way for our wheat. So we're actually getting on very well. The land is traveling incredibly well. In fact, you can see a tram line behind me here. The system we operate with direct drilling, controlled traffic really is helping us out this season. So whilst I'm in this field, I'm just gonna show you this. This here is a little, what we call a nitrogen blade. You can see there it is going into the, into the soil and this little transmitter on top is sending a signal. What this is doing is me me measuring the amount of nitrogen that is available in the soil at any one point. So what this crop has got available to it. It is live data constantly being transmitted. So we've got several of these over this field. And what this is, is a trial with Agri on their um, digital farming um, network. We're sensing the nitrogen over the whole of this field. Now this field was flown by a drone a week ago and the green area was mapped. So we've been able to make a variable rate nitrogen application map depending on that green area. And once we put this first application on, these nitrogen sensors then will show us that nitrogen where it's gone on and how the crops are taking it up and then we'll use them to predict the next um, dose of nitrogen not only how much but also when to apply and even if to apply so yeah very very technical field trying to be precise and only use inputs as and where we need them it is a trial field it's all experimental at the moment but we'll keep an eye where we're going forward actually one of the big things we're finding here, our problem is, is deer. Deer keep coming and actually biting on those, on those little sensors. So we're having a battle to try and stop that happening with deer. Um, but there's always something, isn't there, to, to cause a problem. So now let's take a look at Adrian actually applying the nitrogen. You'll see the nitrogen, it's a liquid nitrogen. Supplied by Frontier, what we're putting on with the sprayer. It's being variable rated. By that we mean there's different rates. His flat rate is 300 litres a hectare, but he can be down to 200 or even 150, depending on how much nitrogen is needed in places. So let's take a look at it um, being applied by Adrian. So here we can see Adrian on the tractor here, towing the sprayer. Behind, he's on a fence 
720 here. Now, as we follow in behind and we zoom in, you'll be able to see the liquid fertilizer coming out of the boom. You'll see it coming down in, in streams. If we just get in a bit closer, <clears throat> and there you can see the streams coming out from each individual nozzle. Using liquid fertilizer is a lot more precise than when we put it on with a, a spinner because the liquid is going exactly where we want it. So we now apply 100% of our nitrogens in this way, keeping the boom low through a stream so it doesn't break up because if it breaks up, we can get scorch on the plant. So as we mentioned, this liquid nitrogen is being placed variable rate. You won't actually see it in the video, but what is actually happening is the sprayer pump will speed up and slow down depending on whether it wants more or less liquid out through the nozzles. And the sprayer can actually flick between nozzles if it's putting more on to allow it to maintain its pressure. So we can keep a constant stream going through all the time and get it precisely where we want it onto the soil. So I hope you found that informative. Hopefully when we get into March, we'll get a little bit more um, land work going. We really need to be getting on on the farm now. So in March, we've actually got an open day with Agri where we invite some farmers on to have a look at what we've been up to. So yeah, join us in March and fingers crossed we've had some warm, sunny, dry days.